Today I want to talk about one thing, the power of editing. A lot of people think editing is just this. I get comments like this all the time. You're only as good as the footage. You can only do the best of what you can with what you got. It makes sense, right? I dare to say that actually a lot of editors, so people that edit, would agree with that statement. But I don't. I don't see shots as the end of my possibility, but rather the beginning. Shots are building blocks, and what you do with them is what makes you a storyteller. Imagine what you can do once you realize that your job as editor is to take any shot and manipulate it in a way that it creates story. I'll explain in an example. This comes straight from our go to editor course and this student cut the scene from scratch. I'm going to show you three different versions that he cut based on just a few notes I gave him. And I want to see if you think that that meaning of that moment changed radically. So in module one of the go to editor course, I asked the students to intercut two actors talking over the phone. Hi. You've probably seen the scene before on my channel. Called you earlier. Yeah. Uh, no, I'm sorry. I was just, uh... The character Mark is calling his wife Teresa in LA. He just arrived in New York to do a fancy model shoot the next day. He checks in with her to let her know that he arrived safely. And these are the three different versions that the student cut. So this is version number one. And I'm only just going to show you that one moment here. How is it? It's the same. Pretty much everything is the same. I think we, uh, I think we had this room before. So what are your plans tonight? Are you going to go out? I think I'm just going to go to sleep soon. So that's the way it was written, that's the way it's cut. And it's pretty straightforward and it works, right? There's nothing wrong with it. Characters are exchanging information, but we want to make it about what's going on in their relationship. We want to create subtext. So I asked the student to take out the first two lines of Mark. It's the same. Pretty much everything's the same. I think we, uh, I think we had this room before and just give him a little breath, just a little bit of a pause before he starts talking. Let's take a look. How is it? I think we had this room before. So what are your plans tonight? Are you gonna go out? I think I'm just gonna go to sleep soon. Okay. So now it feels different, right? She asks him just generally how things are going and he responds with... I think we had this room before. So he's remembering back the past a happier time when they were still in love. Now this scene is nice, but I asked him to actually add more pauses to give us the opportunity to feel more for the characters. Let's take a look at that third version. How is it? I think we had this room before. Mm -hmm. What are you gonna do tonight? I think I'm just gonna go to sleep soon. Do you notice the difference? To me, it feels like now I'm really cued in to what's going on between the two of them. And you have to be careful, obviously, with pauses. If every line has a pause, it doesn't mean anything. But when you want to emphasize something that's important, when you want the audience to feel something, it's good often to take a pause. Now, this scene was cut by the student and I just reacted to what he was giving me. I want to show you the scene the way that I originally cut it in the final version of the film the way it was released. So this is the original cut. And let me know if you notice anything. How is it? Uh, it's the same. Everything's pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure we had the same fucking room before. Uh -huh. What are you gonna do tonight? I think I'm just gonna go to sleep soon. Okay. Anything you notice? I'm playing the entire moment the way it was written, but on his back. And how does that feel? It's the same. Everything's pretty much the same. I'm pretty sure we had the same fucking room before. Mm -hmm. To me, it feels like he's detached. Instead of what the student did and what I directed him to do, it feels like he's already gone. And he just wants to get over with this phone call. I think I'm just gonna go to sleep soon. Okay. 
So very subtle, very small, minute changes, but they affect what the scene is about. And that's so crucial. Is he giving up on the relationship? Is he still invested? These are important questions that you can answer through editing the scene differently. Now, for the sake of the editing course and the lessons, it doesn't really matter that they cut the scene exactly the way that I cut it. What I'm trying to get at with the students, they are in control and create different subtexts and different emotions. And that's the kind of storytelling that you can only learn by doing. So if this is something that's interesting to you and you wanna work with this footage, real footage from an actual feature film or documentary or a branded piece, go check out the Go-To Editor course because we make those dailies available to you and you get to shape that story. And I think that's an awesome power for an editor. And I wanna encourage you to check out the Go-To Editor course, which is only open for another couple of days. If for any reason you missed that window, still click that link for a free tutorial where I completely repuzzle a scene, build a scene from scratch, and move an entire conversation from one part of the room to another. So now the question is, are they gonna walk back and then he's gonna freak out or he's gonna freak out over there? For dramatic reasons, I had to move the actors from one part of the room to another. So their dialogue actually had to take place in a different location than what was originally written and shot. And you can see how I solved that puzzle. So go check out those links. Thank you for watching. Happy editing. And I'll see you soon. Cheers.